Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video has been extremely difficult for me to set up. Like, oh my gosh. If any of you guys have ever been on crutches, you will know it's so hard to be able to like carry things while you're crutching because you need both arms so you've got no free hands to carry anything so I've had like stuff shoved down my bra, my pants, like trying to carry things to get this set up. I thought, oh what video can I film that'll be easy while I'm recovering? I thought, oh makeup, surely? No, apparently not. It's extremely difficult so please bear with me over the next however many months. Um, okay so today's video I was going to do like a everyday makeup with chronic illness but then I realised that I don't really have a set like routine like I always switch it up but I kind of like you know like do the kind of like the same base but like we'll switch up the eyes or the lip colour or whatever so I don't really know if you want to call it everyday makeup with chronic illness but this is kind of everyday makeup that I do so if you guys want to see the finished product then keep on watching okay so at the moment my skin is pretty good apart from this little section here um anyway Primers. So I always start by using this or some sort of priming spray before I put on like a primer primer. I don't know why they bother Urban Decay. It's got like a pop off lid and then another lid. This is the, what is this? The B6 Vitamin Infused Prep Priming Spray. So. And then whether I feel like it, I usually go in with the LA Girl uh, Pro Prep Prime Priming stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to use that today, I'm just going to use the Photo Finish Minimize Pores by Smashbox. It's very, very, very similar to the Benefit, is it Perfect Professional one by Benefit? So I just put that in the areas where I have like bigger pores that I need to like cover up a bit. It's usually my T-zone, my nose, and then across my cheeks and a little bit on my chin. Okay, and then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with the only foundation that I currently own, all the others I've like run out of, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Plus Poreless Foundation. It's probably one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's just the annoying thing is it doesn't have a pump. That's the only annoying thing. So I'm just gonna pop a bit on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, which isn't the actual Beauty Blender, but you know. Oh, also update guys. Tom and I are currently in the process of building our first home, which is so exciting. But when it is built, which will probably be, I think like this time next year, we'll probably be moving in. Yeah, when it is built, like I want to have like one of the spare bedrooms set up for like my filming. Also, I want to get like a like a vanity table for the bedroom that I can do my makeup at, but also film makeup videos at. Because I really want to do more makeup videos because I, I love makeup. The problem is I just feel like I'm not good at it um, and secondly I feel like I never, I don't know, I'm never in a good position to film a makeup tutorial, it's really difficult like because obviously I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing but I don't want to block your view with like a mirror or whatever so I need to come up with a good setup that you know you guys can still see what I'm doing without me blocking your thing with a mirror so hopefully this mirror being in the corner doesn't aggravate you guys too much. Okay so now that I've got a base down. I'm not going to worry too much about making it perfect because I'm going to go in with concealer and then blend it all properly. This is probably my all time favourite concealer. This or there's like a MAC one, I can't remember what it's called but it's very very similar to this. It's just the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in uh, Vanilla Light 2. Um, yeah, it's probably one of my favourites because I don't worry too much about the base. It's more about getting something down just to smooth out everything and then going in where I need it with concealer and this is a very full coverage one so I don't have to worry about the foundation being too full coverage so I just take like a little flat brush which needs wash needs to be cleaned but anyway and then I'm just gonna like find the places that need a little bit of extra cover up and then I just use like my finger to blend it. I feel like if I use the beauty blender it's a bit too harsh and it picks up the product rather than blending it. But like I said I'm really happy with my skin at the moment. If you guys have known me or you watch my vlog channel you'll know that I've never had the best skin. Um, I go through like periods where it will clear up for a bit and then it will get rubbish again and especially around that time of the month but doesn't that happen to everyone. Okay, then I'm going to go in with my favourite powder, which I literally, once I've used this for the first time, I've never gone back. I've never gone to anything else. It's like a little, I don't know what you call this, powder brush. Probably not a powder brush, but I use it for that. But I start with the T-zone because that's the oiliest 
area that I tend to get like seepage. I do, but I'm not a really big fan of like, uh, like dewy looking skin. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I prefer it to be matte. I always try to make sure that I blend it well. I, that's the one thing. I always look back at like secondary school and I'm like how I did my makeup. And I had this orange line like at my chin. I'm like, why did nobody tell me? I mean, look like, yeah. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Today we're using this one. This is by MAC. It's just MAC bronzing powder. It's pretty dark. And I just use like a little I don't even know what you call this, contour brush. It used to have the, the names of the brushes on these. These are from Real Techniques, but they've all rubbed off because I've owned them for so long. Okay, next I'm gonna do brows. So for that, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia, uh, what do you call it, brow, dip brow pomade or, or however you pronounce it ash brown which is one of the darkest colors i think it's the one before black i can't remember to be honest and then we're using a little angled brush this is the 317 winged liner brush by zoe 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 -ver? yeah zoe -ver. and then i've got like this little two-in-one uh goof poof brow pencil it has like a little uh like a i don't even know what we call it a little cream thing which i don't really use i just use the spoolie on the other end I honestly just follow the natural shape of my brows, just fill them in basically. It's a lot easier to do when you've had them waxed recently. So I start by making like a little, I don't know, like two lines, which I'll later blend out so they're not so harsh, but just so I can get a good idea of where I want it to be. So once I've kind of got them like half filled in, I'm gonna take the little fully again and I'm just kind of like gonna blend out the front lines that I made so they're not so harsh and just brush out the whole brow basically and then I can go back in and see which, what needs extra filling in. I feel like I always mess like one brow up like I just can't get it right but hey the sister's not twins. Alright that's just probably as good as the brows are gonna get and then I'm gonna take a little Brow gel. This is from Colourpop Brow Boss Gel in dark brown. And I'm just gonna brush that through my brows, focusing on like the middle to the like arch and down, not so much the front part, because I don't want that to be too dark. I'm gonna go over that bit with whatever's left over after. Pretty much done, I just need to do my eyes. And now I'm gonna take this Colourpop palette. This is the I Think I Love You one. And there's a shade in here which is called my treat so I could probably see it better now but it's this shade right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix between that and this which is the over the moon super shock cheek uh well the color is called over the moon but it's by color pop and I use it as a highlighter but it's a bit more of a creamy consistency than it is like a powder to so take that on my finger and just highlight the cheekbone ever so gently and then whatever I've got left, Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. And then I'm gonna take that My Treat shade that I just talked about and I'm just gonna go in with that over the top. This is a super nice highlighting shade. Oh, look at that, glistening. I might have actually put a bit too much on the camera. It'll be fine. There's no such thing as too much highlighter. Okay, moving on to the eyes. So I'm going to start with the Tartlet uh, In Bloom palette, which has some of the nicest neutrals I have ever seen. It's one of my favourite palettes. Okay. I'm going to say that about everything, but it's true. And I'm going to take this little Harry, Pro Harry Potter wand the elder wand brush and i'm going to go into this color here which is called charmer which is basically a really really light kind of cream color i'm just going to put it all over the lid as like a base i'm in no way like an expert at makeup i think i suck at it to be honest i just kind of do what i want i don't think there's any right or wrong way to really do it it's just whatever you feel comfortable doing okay now we've got a nice base down i'm going to go in this color here which is called flower child She's a bit kind of like a more of a darky cream colour. I don't really know how to explain it. And I'm just gonna go in like the crease with it. And then like blend up towards like the brow.
And then I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called Smarty Pants. <laughs> I'm not gonna take too much. And I'm just gonna go in again, but bringing, like in the crease, but then bring it a little bit more lower down. Then I'm gonna go into this, which is, I, this isn't like a palette you can buy, I just made this. This is from Colourpop, you basically get the palette and then you pick what like shade you wanna put in it. Um, so I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is Wake Up Call. So what I don't understand is when you watch these YouTubers that like, when they're doing their makeup and they'll have like one eye done and they'll be like, okay, I'm gonna do the other one off camera. And I'm like, how can you remember every single shade in the order that you used it and how much blending you had to do? Like, I just couldn't. Like, I literally have to do like one step, go to the other eye, do the repeat it. Like, I can't. I wouldn't be able to just do one eye and then get the other eye the exact same. It's too difficult. Maybe I'm just so stupid. I don't know. And then I'm going to go in the shade next to it, which is called Paper Tiger. This one here. But it's kind of like orangey yellow colour. It's really pretty. I don't want to get too, I don't want to put too much on because I know it's going to be quite vibrant. I'm just going to start just a little bit. And because I've already got like creams and browns on the lid, it's going to go, it's going to look more like a yellow brown than like a yellow yellow. Then I'm going to go in with this. And this is a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic in Ritz. And then I'm going to find a flat packing brush. This one will do. This is another Harry Potter wand comment down below if you know who the wand this is so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna focus it on the outer half of the lid and then once i've got a rough idea of how much i want like i mean like the where i want it i'm gonna wet my brush that's the only way it properly picks up and then i'm gonna go in like with one of my fingers probably this finger so like it just picks up so much better on your on your fingers it's so glittery this is probably not every day, but you know what? It is what it is. I'd still go out like this. And then I'm gonna go into the ColourPop. This one, what's this palette again? I think I love you in Bel Air. I think the shade is just like another brownie color. And I'm gonna again blend that into the crease. Okay, I thought like the only problem when you work with glitter is that it pretty much gets everywhere. Now I'm going to go in with, where's it gone? Like another like packing brush. And I'm going to go back in with that shade we used like at the beginning, which is Charmer. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it in the little inner corner. I'm going to bring it round the outside of my eye a little bit as well. And then I'm going to go with that yellow colour, that Paper Tiger one, on that little brush that I just used. And I'm just going to gently put it on the outer like edge, on the waterline. Okay, so almost done. Eyelash colours. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara in black. Lastly, I just need to pick a lip to put on. So I've decided to go with a lipstick. I'm gonna go with a matte one, but I just not really sure what colour it's on. I've just moved for a little bit closer just to sit on the edge of the bed because I'm pretty much done now and I don't need the big mirror anymore. It's called tea time. So, such a pretty colour. And you know what? I don't think it's too much. I mean, obviously, if I was gonna just like be going to the shops, whatever, I probably wouldn't wear this much of a boom lip. I'd probably put on like just a nude one. And I have the perfect one, it's by MAC, and it's called um, Honey Love, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's such a pretty colour, it's like my all time favourite nude lipstick. But anyway, this is the finished look, let me just get my mirror. Make sure I do actually look okay and I don't need to change this lipstick. No, I think it's actually really pretty. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. So, this is the finished look, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Um, but yeah, I, you could easily switch this out for a nude lip and it would look boom. Um, and again, if I was pro if you wanted to tone it down, maybe don't do the glitter. Just do like the brown and yellow kind of like shadow. But anyway, I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I will see all you beautiful people in my next video. I love you guys so much.